Hey guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Hope you're all doing well. On here with um, my next challenge, which Tanil and I, Paper Milkshake, um, decided to do for ourselves. So e each week we do a challenge and it's different and it's just to get us um, to spark our creativity and get some inspiration and hopefully inspire you guys as well. So this week's challenge was to use vinyl and I wanted to create, um, or I have created two different projects using vinyl and I think they turned out really gorgeous. So the first project that I created using vinyl was this beautiful gold glitter pouch. So I just stitched it all together using my sewing machine. I didn't follow a tutorial or a template or anything. It was just an idea I had because as you guys know, I love to make my Myla acetate pouches and I thought why not create a vinyl one with this gorgeous gold glitter vinyl that I had in my craft stash. I'm pretty sure I grabbed it from Spotlight Australia. So with this one I've just added a couple of really pretty little charms on the front. So we got this pretty little butterfly one on there and this little Maggie Holmes planner one and then we've got an eyelet um, there that I've um, popped in and there's also a star connector there as well I don't know if you guys can see that which is dangling from uh, the like the top of that butterfly there just to give it a little bit of um, like dangliness on the bottom if that's the word you use <laughs> I'm not too great with um, using words <laughs> so I've added some like velcro dots so the inside is quite plain and I've just added some little like a little bag of tassels in there just to show you you know you can pop whatever you want to inside your vinyl pouch so yeah very happy with how that turned out considering it was my first one i did have a little trouble with my sewing machine the tension on the back was um playing up on me and so the back is a little bit um like loose with the thread so when i first created it it was actually just a square and because it looked so messy sort of on the front with all the thread i decided to just trim trim um the edges to make it sort of like that triangular shaped um enclosure there so yeah happy with that one but then i wanted to do something else i thought that that wasn't enough so I decided to create this gorgeous little like flip book or um, file folder book whatever you want to call it really so it's pretty much um, the same style I used to make when I always made my um, little flip books is what I called them but I decided to create um, this pretty little elastic piece on here so it can um, you can use it as an enclosure um, to keep your little folder shut so yeah I've got this cute elastic on the front there which the recipient can just take off it was just some elastic I had you know in my stash and I just decided to add a couple of cute little beads on it and these cute little um, charms and yeah so the front part of this whole entire book is made with vinyl which I stuck down onto some 
cardstock paper. So I decided to play with All Heart for this one with it being my favourite collection. So yeah, as you can see, vinyl for the front and the back in this beautiful pink glitter one. I just stuck a simple um, front on there just because I didn't want it to be too busy on the front. So I've just used this chipboard from the All Heart collection and then I thought using this, um, this cute little elastic with the charm on here, I thought that just made a cute little um, decoration to it and that it's enough. And then the inside is a lot more decorated as you guys can see. So I popped in a big giant vellum like library pocket on the inside and I decorated that using all heart pieces and some gorgeous little butterfly embellishments that Tennille made for me. And then we've just got some fun like tickets and tags and cut aparts in that section there but you can put whatever you want into it really and then this side here I decided to create my own little Myla acetate library pocket to include a few other like pretty little cut aparts and note cards um, we have those gorgeous little adhesive frames so just all kinds of little bits and pieces in that one there but like I said you could put whatever you wanted in here really I just decided to pop these goodies in there because I thought they were cute and they, were, they went really well with um, this all heart project and yeah just decorated the front it is quite quite chunky um, considering it's you know, quite a flat sort of um, file folder or, yeah, flip book, whatever you want to really call it. Um, it's just a nice way to send happy mail to your pen pals. So, yeah, very happy with how that turned out. Extremely cute. And, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. I thought it turned out really pretty. And I love that I came up with the idea to just put this bit of elastic on the front here to hold it, um, hold it closed. So, yeah, super cute. So, yeah, guys, um, I'll leave Tanil's channel down below so you guys can go and see what she created using vinyl. I'm sure it's amazing whatever she has created. And um, yeah, stay tuned for our next video, which will be in a week's time. And if you guys, you know, want to follow along and join in our challenge, just tag us and or let us know, send us a message um, to say, you know, hey, have a look at what I've made. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy these videos and have a wonderful day. Bye.